Hey guys, doing a quick tip video. How to boost a, a hive. Made a split about a week, week and a half ago. I think this was a three frame split. <clears throat> Decided I would give this lady a boost when I went back in her and looked. She's doing good. The majority of the brood that I gave her was uncapped, so it is now capped. So what I've done is I've got a, a Rubbermaid tote type item that I'll go into a hive, which I found one that was showing me that she was thinking they were thinking about going down the road because they were drawing queen cups at the bottom of the frames, but nothing in them. So the easiest way to slow them down is to shake nurse bees. So I found the queen, sequestered her off to the side on a frame and a little uh, two frame mating nuke. Went and found open brood where that's where your nurse bees are gonna be. You shake them in this Rubbermaid tote. I shook, I think, four frames out of this eight frame hive. It's in the middle of the day, so all your foragers are out. Set the, the tote in the shade for about 10, 15 minutes and came back and got it. If you look close enough, you might see a drone or two. That means that they were not old enough to have been out of the hive and flown. I don't see, I don't really see any drones. But I, you, every once in a while you get a few. But then you bring them over here and like I did with this ramp, I just turned the lid off of another box upside down. Shuck some bees on the landing board to get them to fanning. As you can see, they're fanning saying, come here. And these ladies will walk right in. These are nurse bees because the ones you shake in the tub, the reason for leaving them there 10, 15 minutes is so that any foragers you have there, which are the pain in the rears that would go in and probably try to kill this queen. And these girls are just happy to be here. They fly back to the parent colony. But that's your quick tip for the day. Have a great bee season. Like and subscribe.